you know, that's just me, the fear of not knowing if I'm going to be able to do it because I think about, well, I'm like this and how am I going to be able to do it? And then um, the instructors and the volunteers or the coaches and the volunteers really work hard and they're very good people that we have out here because I never knew that I would be doing things like this and um, I'm grateful even for the people that have put together this sports clinic for us because some of us overcome our, our fears for being able to participate and knowing that you have someone, a volunteer or a coach next to you that you can trust that will help you do this thing. So luckily, thank God, there was this guy, Jerry Field. He had a stroke before and so he uses uh, the mouth to, uh, to shoot the, his arrow. And um, so it's good that I, had, I, could, I could see what he was doing and when he did the first time, I was like, okay, let me try. And once I tried the first time, I hit the bullseye. And I was like, okay, game on. <laughs> and I just started, like, from there on, I did two bullseyes. And um, I just kept shooting the bullseyes. And they were like, well, you're so natural. And I said, um, I think when uh, the other guy, the public affairs guy was at interviewing me, he asked me, how did you do it? You're so natural. And I joked at that I told him, well, I must, been, I must have been hunting lions back in Africa when I was young. He was like, oh, really? I said, no, 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 I'm joking. No, no. So now they're calling me Robin Hood. Even with one arm, I was able to do it. And I'm like, okay, I want to continue doing this. I give honor to God and you know, he creates a path for our lives and I had a path that I created for my life but then he had a different path and so I believe he intended me to be in the army even though talking with my dad he has told me that my family, my grandpa was in World War II and my dad was in the military. So I believe it's in the blood somewhere but also I believe it's in the, the will of God for me to have come this way. I was thinking, as veterans, sometimes we look at ourselves and say, well, I don't really think I can do this. But I learned something recently. You never know what you can do until you try. So the willingness has to come from the inside because if you tell me to do something and I'm not willing to do it, then it means the purpose of even trying. So I have to want to do it and also for veterans out there who are thinking about like, oh, I don't have legs or I don't have arms or I have this disability. Get out there and try to do things. And like being here in, in San Diego, California has also lifted my spirits because I'm around people that have the probably same or different disabilities and I feel like, you know, we are a big family and we can listen to each other and share stories, which is really, you know, when you, have, when you keep talking about it and it comes out, you feel better. But when you close yourself in and sit back in your house, that's not good. That's when people get depressed. So I would encourage people to come out and try these events. They're very helpful and very, very encouraging. And, you know, there are people out here to help us do what we cannot do by ourselves. So let's do this.